welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Lashana if you're not new thank you for coming back and welcome to episode two of the surviving Cuba series obviously from the title you could tell what we're going to talk about today we're going to find out how you find a house from this has probably been like my most fails and my most struggle house hunting in Cuba so I literally have it here a whole step by steps to the points them there y'all can't see can y'all you're not gonna show anyway a whole step by step on how to find a house because i was re-watching my video that i already have on how to find a house and i was just rambling and i don't want to ramble in this one i want to actually give you guys points so i wrote it down so the first thing that i want to address decide what it is that you're looking for in a house sit down and talk with your parents to see what's their budget because finding a house now and rent now in cuba is a lot more expensive than it was when i just came so for example <clears throat> rent is now paid in us your land majority of the land people will for all of the nicer houses majority of them would like to be paid in us because whereas us dollar isn't really exchanged like that to go to the supermarket and all of those jazz you have to have a card that has us dollars on it that's going to be a whole separate video that i'm gonna run through with you guys so a lot of the cubans and such would prefer for the rent to be paid in us so i'm saying that to say back in the day i would walk with the us and change it now back in the day when i just came paying 230 dollars for rent was that was even kind of seen as a little bit expensive it was like you know when you like three dollar signs <laughs> so one to three dollar signs like that was like the medium it wasn't that expensive and it wasn't that cheap right as opposed to now where and that the 230 was in cook so that would be about maybe 170 us dollars for rent for the month right and that's a place where you split where you share with two other people one bathroom is shared and y'all have your each individual rooms now it is not uncommon to pay 300 dollars us for rent and you still live with other people not like two other people but like to share a place it ranges right now ranges from between 230 us to like 300 us in between there depending on how nice the place is where it's located and how many people are living in the space with you it's like things have changed covid has changed everything so that was the first thing that i wanted to establish now we're going to talk about how you find a house okay the first step i could give you ask around you're a new student you just finished your quarantine now you need to find a house ask around for any of the friends that you have made now who already have houses anybody who you know that's already there ask them like hey do you know of anywhere that's renting do you have an old landlord or landlady that now needs a new student a lot of the people who have already left and moved and are moving on to like the different location of where med school actually is from where you have started are leaving land people who are looking for new students so you could even make their life easier by asking and they'll recommend you and you just get well, linked up you just get linked up with a land person so first advice is to ask around second what you are looking for being in cuba you're going to see houses with a little symbol that looks like an anchor anchor like what a ship anchor that type it's shaped like that some of them are blue some of them are orange some of them might be yellow the blue ones are the ones that are licensed to rent to international students or international people, whether you're a tourist or whatever, they'll usually be the nicer ones, depending. They could be, you'll just see it printed out on a house, you'll see it on the wall, sometimes the number is below it, along with the name of the person who is renting to you. Sometimes it's just the symbol alone and you have to either go knock on the door or ask the neighbors if they have the number for the person that's there, because sometimes the people don't live there, but it's a rented property so that's what you're looking for the ones with the orange or the yellow anchor the orange or yellow anchor means that they're renting to cubans only so they're not licensed to rent or to give the house to any international students or anything so don't even bother because they can't it's illegal 
if immigration finds out then the person will be charged a lot of money and you could get in trouble for being rented there too also that happens if you're renting somewhere that's not licensed to rent at all so if they don't have a blue anchor but apartment look nice and they're like no it's okay man and they're charging you lesser to live there than they would like if you rented an actual like blue anchor place if immigration roll up on you you in problem and they in problem so you might be tempted to take the cheaper route in that case don't save yourself the problem because you can get kicked out of school if you have a problem with immigration you've been warned the difference between renting habitation and renting an actual whole house all right habitation is spanish for room so when you're looking at different different places and the ad might say oh you can rent a habitation or they're renting a habitation for x amount of money it's literally a room in a place so it could be that is like a kind of hostel thing or like a hotel kind of hotel kind of thing where they only offer the rooms and you'll be rented with like other random people that you don't know and you don't never been around and thing that's not really the best case because a lot of times is that those rooms will be quoted by night so it might be like thirty dollars per night and thing and then when you calculate it for a month that's a lot of money so it might seem cheap but you can get better and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, if you're renting a whole casa, the be uh, everybody's supposed to know say casa mean house. That's like one of the first Spanish words that you learn. <laughs> anyway, it's best to rent with somebody or have somebody that you're looking for a house with. So if you at school and you've met a friend or whatever and them seem like them decent enough, you know, <laughs> or you feel like you could live with them, or if you're going with someone that you knew prior and you would like to live with them look for houses together it's easier to find a place when you have more than one person to look looking for the house than if it's just you one trust me when i just came every single year after when we had to be looking for a house it would be me and my friend abigail y'all have seen abigail in different videos on my channel i used to live with her and then after not nothing happened we just didn't end up living together after and i had to find like other roommates or whatever she also had to as well and now i'm gonna live by myself she lives by herself it's just something that you have to do until you find yourself in a situation where you can find a place that is just you if that's what you want and it just works out better but it's easier to find a house when you have somebody else that you're looking with because majority of the places they'll have multiple rooms in the house that they would like to just rent out that way they're getting more money from a group of people who know each other and are okay to live with each other rather than just renting a habitat so just works out better that way so if you see an ad that says they're just renting the habitat mm -mm. no if you see an ad where it's the whole casa and them say yo there's two habitations in there that's good because they're telling you the price of to rent the entire place but how many rooms are available if you have someone that you would like to rent with or if you really like the place and you can afford to just rent the whole place by yourself you could do that if you have the money like that hats off to you so another way to find a place there are whatsapp group for everything in cuba i said that in my 10 fun facts about cuba literally whatsapp groups for everything in cuba that includes whatsapp groups where you can find different different apartments or different houses or whatever and the listing will be posted how much it costs as well as the contact number for the person they won't like send the contact number same time usually the person who is the admin of the group you dm them the pictures of the place that you're interested in it won't always have pictures but you can see the description you reply to the description and say hey i really like what this sounds can i have the, the contact for the person who is the landlord or whatever and they will give it to you and then you know as an individual will message that person or dm that person who is the landlord and pitch yourself to the person basically say hey i'm interested in renting this place um they'll usually tell you the rent up front and you'll decide if you can pay that or whatever if you could negotiate it feel free to do so that's actually how i ended up finding remember my dream apartment apartment that i have showed you all <laughs> look for that video if you haven't seen it basically yeah the dream apartment for this past year that i didn't get to live in for a full year and i no longer have i know live alone but the new place that I live is the same landlord. 
that deal with it for me so you know live good with people <laughs> so yeah whatsapp groups ask around ask your cuban classmates ask the international students that have already been living there sometimes you never know the next option which is actually the easiest one to do there is a magical site that exists in cuba that is called revolico it has ads for everything i'm going to put the spelling on the th on the screen revolico.com whatever it is that you are looking for you can put it into this wonderful website and it will tell you who is selling it who is renting it what they're looking for and how much it costs you could get pets on here you could find houses on here you could buy cars on here you could buy a scooter on here whatever it is that you're looking for you put it in and there's somebody that's selling it or either somebody that's looking for it a lot of us use it to find houses sometimes pictures will be there so you can see it the location for where the house is will be there so you can see if it's close to your school if it makes sense um and the contact information will also be there as well so you just call the person straight hey saw your message saw your post on revolico really interested in what's the cost how many people would be living there how many bedrooms or whatever whatever it is that you're looking for however communication and then through that you can schedule you going to look at the host, you negotiating with them and talking so you can go and get a walkthrough in person. All of that exists on that wonderful site. Literally anything that you're looking for and you don't know where to find it, just type into Revolica and that's your first step. So yeah, and that way you find the houses on your own and deal with the land people on your own. You're, if you're on Facebook, sometimes they'll also like run ads on Facebook or like people will announce, but I guess you'd have to be friends with the Cuban people who are actually like doing that to be able to do that. You can also ask your Cuban classmates when you actually start med school, they don't anywhere that's renting. You could do it the old fashioned way, like what we did when we didn't know about like we were new students. Walk around in the different communities that's close to your school and look for the blue anchor and then you go and talk to the people who either live at the house, if the number is on the wall, or you ask the neighbors. There's always the OG method that never fails. Next other option. My friend has a business where he looks for houses and does everything, man of all trades. He will literally find a house for you, take a small commission fee. Yeah, you have to pay him. So find a host for you and basically just deal with everything with the landlord for you, put you in communication, negotiate the cost and how many people will be living there and you are already finding a host. So if you would like that contact, hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram name is in the description below. Just find me there and I will put you in contact with him whenever it is that you're ready and you're looking for a host and you just can't bother. It's not like a huge amount of it let me not discredit my business anyway it's affordable <laughs> that's what i'll go with to do that option if you don't want to deal with it yourself you can just tell them what you're looking for it'll present you with the option if you don't like it you say i don't like it you'll find a different one for you if you like it then yeah so there's that and lastly what i want to address i briefly want to discuss i knew i said i was done but i briefly want to discuss something let's just talk about my personal experience it's a lot of you guys are leaving from your home and it's the first time that you're being outside of your parents house you've never left home before and sometimes people kind of think that all right no i don't have to do with my parents rules i could do whatever blah 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 wild there's nothing wrong with living life however you want to live it however please be respectful of the people then please a lot of times people will just now get free just now be living on their own and they get carried away don't be destroying the people in place it will be a problem one day will charge you majority of the places are asking for security deposits not all of the time but sometimes they will be asking for security deposits usually it's people who have bad experience with students or tourists before if you destroy something they keep that security deposit um, or before you leave you have to pay and sometimes they will overcharge you the police not gonna help you but then will tell us say yo you can't leave these people house until you pay the money so there's that um treat the people them place like it's like it's your parents place or like it's yours like this is the person's investment don't be destroying the people place don't be wilding a lot of the times you think oh people don't really care it's not that deep it is that deep it's exactly that deep um 
personally i know people who rent houses and thing and they watch you like even if you think that they're not looking at you they will watch and see how you operate in the place they watch and see if you're well no one is saying that you can't have parties no one is saying that you can't throw parties and dinners and thing do you just don't be a nuisance to the neighbors don't be a nuisance to the land people and treat people in place properly like trust me having a good relationship with your landlord or your landlady will carry you a far way and make life extremely easy for you because if they like you they will bring you food they will tell you where to get stuff and i don't even mean food like cook food like they'll bring you like produce that you can't find that only the cubans can access stuff like eggs stuff like irish potato things that seem so ins insignificant but could carry your life a far way trust me um sometimes even chicken when it's hard to find for you as an international person your land people will get it for will source it for you and you just have to pay them back live good with people it's a skill that a lot of people develop over time as a young person trust me learn it early and learn it quick can carry you a long way if you have a good relationship with them even a simple thing as to find a house after you leave them they will help you because a lot of them have other friends who are renting different houses and things and if they vouch for you you could get a nice ass house for a good price or even cheaper because they know that you're a good tenant or whatever or or you could they could be developing a new place and they offer it to you first if they know that you're moving or something or whatever your situation might be they'll offer it to you first i have been a person of that situation like literally i lived somewhere before i've always lived i always live good with people i've never i've only had two trifling land people <laughs> that i don't speak to but the other two land people that i have friends with we chill the first one is like my Cuban mom. If anything I need, I message her. And she can literally source it for me and I will get it from, from her. She checks in. She asks if school good and thing. Live good with people. It will carry a long ass way. Trust me. Anything we need, we can message her and ask her. And if she not of it, she'll go find it for me. Secondly, the second one, I lived in this house. It was the person who rented my dream apartment. And I had to give it up because I couldn't find anyone to rent it for another year with me. Right? He ended up doing a different apartment where it would be a single occupancy, just me, alone, brand new, renovating everything. Cause he knows that the man literally says to me, he knows that I'm a good tenant and everything. And he insists I'ma keep them place clean, I'ma care them place, I'm in a while. And the man offered a place to me, just me by myself. This is a big ass space. And his one bedroom, the bathroom is gorgeous. And the man offered it to me the same way. And I literally will be paying 300 dollars US. Also, we'll talk about that as well. So I didn't even have to stress myself to find a new place. It was offered to me. Make your life easier. Just move good with people. It's, it's that simple. Make life easier. Also, I wanted to talk about the different rent rates. Now, $300 US is on the higher side of these. So there are certain things that you can negotiate because when I told my mom that, hey, XYZ and this is being offered to me, my mom was like, tell him say I need to include lights and I need for it need to include all utilities or else I'm not paying it. And he obliged. The new place come with Wi-Fi. I didn't even ask him for that. He just gave that to me as well. So all I'm saying is, personally, it is on the higher end, but personally, I am of the opinion that where I live is my safe space. It is my sanctuary. It is my haven. Me, me can't live in here anyway. Me just, I was raised where wherever I sleep, it has to be a decent place. I cannot live in here anywhere. I am of a bougie nature, according to all of my friends. And I don't feel shame for that, especially if it's my house. If somewhere is nicer and costs a little bit more, I have no problem paying that. Thank God to my parents understand that. But if you are within a budget and... Uh, you need to stay within that budget. You can find places that are way cheaper. I have friends who rent places that are way cheaper. Sometimes there are some gems that you don't even know about. And you can get them for cheaper. My friends have been that fortunate to find places like that. I have been fortunate to find places like that as well. Like my dream apartment. <laughs> but sometimes things don't work out that way. But all I'm saying is don't limit yourself to be like, oh, well, this is too expensive. I can't negotiate. You never know what you can find. Things might work out even simpler and better than you needed them to. 
I hope this video was helpful if you guys have any more questions. Whatever it is, my DMs are always open. Message me on Instagram. It is in the description box below or you can tweet me on Twitter. It is also in the description box below. I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's right there, the big red button right there. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to share this video with somebody who you know who is planning to come to Cuba in the next couple months, is already living there but don't know how to find houses or whatever. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.